What I'm about to say is going to be controversial. It's going to be a hot take, and a lot of you are going to disagree with me. But I have to say it because it's what I feel in my heart. The best XCOM is a Mario game. I'm talking about Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, the 2017 surprise release from Ubisoft and Nintendo. If you haven't heard of it, you've probably seen the clip of creative director David Soliani crying tears of joy as his hero, Mario creator Miyamoto, showed off his game during an E3 press conference. It was an incredibly touching moment in the middle of a shocking reveal. Nintendo was loaning their most prized character to Ubisoft to make a AAA turn-based strategy game. The world was quite literally in shock as they watched Mario gun down enemies while Rabbit Peach took selfies. But an even bigger surprise came on release day, when we found out that this cross-company hodgepodge of a game is actually great. It oozes charm and humor, marrying the physical comedy of the Rabbids franchise with the sunny disposition of the Mario universe. And the gameplay is top-notch, with battles that are intense and challenging. And the campaign takes you across crazy environments with puzzles and hidden objects and tough bosses. And there's unique characters that you level up with new abilities and weapons to create strategic depth. Mario plus Rabbids is a hell of a game. With its cover-based gunplay and cinematic camera, the comparisons between Mario plus Rabbids and XCOM began almost immediately. And you could absolutely see the inspiration that Ubisoft drew from Firaxis' reboot of the Humans vs. Aliens tactical series but it would be incorrect to call it a kid's version of XCOM, or a cash grab copycat. Mario plus Rabbids brings so many new ideas to the table that it starts to challenge genre conventions. And in succeeding on each of those ideas, I would argue it becomes better than XCOM. One of the best improvements in Mario plus Rabbids is how it treats movement. In most tactical turn-based games, moving your character is a simplistic action. You have a distance you can move them, and maybe even a sprint action to go that bit further at the cost of your attack. But in Mario plus Rabbids, movement is much more dynamic. Sure, you can move your character based on their speed, but you can also dash through enemies along the way to deal damage to them, or you can jump off your allies to extend your distance. When you combine all three, along with side effects like explosive dashes or healing jumps, you get crazy movement combos. If you set up your movement just right, you can take out multiple enemies and get into cover on the other side of the map with just your move. Mario plus Rabbids takes a dull go there, hide here movement action and makes it much more engaging and dynamic. But that's not the only genre cliche that the game fights back against. It also rejects the idea of randomized shot chances. We all know about the ridiculous misses that occur in XCOM. I'm talking about the ones where your guy is right next to the enemy, aiming right at his head, and he somehow misses. What is this? What is this crap? <laughs> Greta? Oh my god, Greta! Greta. You shoot this f***ing alien right in the face! Oh my- oh! <laughs> That doesn't happen in Mario plus Rabbids because the game isn't sadistic. Instead, you get a 100% chance to hit an enemy if they aren't behind cover, a 50% chance if they're behind half cover, and a 0% chance if they're behind full cover. It takes away all of the frustration with shooting that occurs in XCOM and makes tactical decisions so much more important. Flanking an enemy means you land a guaranteed hit, but leaving your guy out in the open also means he's definitely going to take damage. There's no miraculous snipes or last minute whiffs. Win or lose, the outcome is on you. There's one final difference between XCOM and Mario plus Rabbids that I want to talk about, and it's admittedly subjective. XCOM has a great aesthetic, near future militarism with a sci-fi B-movie twist, but it starts to wear thin pretty quickly. Underneath that shine are maps that kinda look the same, filled with a handful of enemy types and encounters that offer little variety. The missions in XCOM start to bleed into one another until they eventually become an endless grind to get through. And when that happens, I stop playing the game. But in Mario plus Rabbids, there is an incredible variety of characters, enemy types, environments, and encounters. Having a full roster of iconic Nintendo characters and their half rabbit hybrids each with their own special abilities and weapons, brings so much more choice to the battlefield. And when that battle is taking place in different Nintendo-esque worlds, each with a distinct theme and new enemies acting in surprising ways, the game becomes so much more exciting and challenging. Heck, there's even an opera-themed boss who sings a diss track at Mario. 
Where XCOM starts to feel a bit samey, Mario plus Rabbids is constantly evolving all the way to the end. Now I know that I've riled up some of you XCOM fans. I have sullied your series in comparison to a Nintendo side project, and that can't be sitting well. But I hope that I've at least piqued your interest in Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I promise that if you give it a shot, you'll find it to be an interesting innovation of the genre that has more than enough charm to keep you smiling. Oh, hello there. You've caught me practicing my reading. Boy, I sure wish I wasn't illiterate. Clearly you've enjoyed another Subpixel video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, it lets us and it lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to pretending.